Hello and welcome. I want to explain a little bit about the rebranding on the channel. So when I created the username DJ Ghetto Steve, it was about 15 years ago, so I was about 26, and I was going through old rave flyers with a friend and found this name, uh, DJ Ghetto Steve, and I thought it was hysterical. And at the time, I was sort of a DJ and um, lived in the really not good part of town. And I really wanted the username so that way when I was in online gaming, it would look like I was a guy. Because unfortunately, sexism within the gaming community is rampant, especially almost two decades ago. So I was like, Steve, that's great. Everyone will just call me Steve. They'll think I'm a guy. It's awesome. And I didn't really think anything more about it. Many, many years go by. Last year I decide I'm going to start posting on my channel again, do a different kind of content. And I was like, do I change my name? Because I've been using it simply for the fact that it is a unique name and it is never taken on any platform that I try to get onto. But yeah, I didn't really think about it. And I was like, well, I've already got a D name, so add deconstruct to that and I'll be cool. But then this morning I got a message from somebody who was letting me know that the username is offensive. I'll be honest, my knee-jerk reaction was, you can't say that it's offensive, it's fine, you know? Like, I'm Jewish, Jews were in the ghetto, so, you know, it's part of my history too. But that's not the, the hill that I want to die on. That's, I'm not trying to make a point with that. It was, it was a silly name that was picked a, somewhat at random and so I was like you know there are definitely negative connotations to the word ghetto kind of as a derogatory term for areas of people of color so I can appreciate where people would be turned off by seeing a white person uh, using that term for themselves so yeah I can, I can see where they're coming from like it personally doesn't offend me or my like friends in the real world um, and even when I pulled uh, a bunch of discord buddies they for the most part were not offended by it either but here's the thing whenever I'm talking to turfs and whatnot I always make a very big point of you don't get to decide what is offensive for somebody else that's wholly determined by them and it's just a matter of whether or not you are going to respect that when somebody tells you that such and such is offensive. I really want my channel to be a safe space where people can engage with their faith on a different level and can look at things with a different perspective. But yeah, I don't want anyone coming here and thinking that they are being mocked or disrespected because that is the opposite of what I'm trying to do here. It, I think the best metaphor for this is it's like if you have to explain the joke, it's not funny. So if I've got to go into a deep discussion of Jewish history in order to protect my ability to use a particular word, it's just not cool. So moving forward, I am DJ G and I have updated all of my links to my socials, which are also DJG or the DJG. I really am appreciative of the person who brought this to my attention today because it's, it's not something I would think of because it's not something that would trigger me. And so I, I recognize that I, like everybody else, have blind spots. And so I wanna make sure that I am receptive to feedback and respectful of other people when they tell me who they are and what they need. Thanks so much, have a good day.